What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. Today on What Needs to Change, I wanted to talk a little bit about the lore in Destiny 2. But before we get into that, I want to clarify something real quick. A few videos ago on my What Needs to Change series, I referenced Vife as the monotone king of Destiny. In no way, shape, or form was that to be a bad thing or a stab at him. There are many famous people out there with monotone voices like Ben Stein, who used to do the clear eyes commercials if you guys are old enough to remember what that is. Bife just happens to be YouTube famous for Destiny and specifically for the Destiny lore which is what we will get into now. This video is not to read any of the lore but instead address the issues with it inside of Destiny 2. Now I will be jumping around from D1 to D2, expansion to expansion and DLC to DLC so please bear with me. In the original Destiny, the lore was out there and heavily accessible via the Bungie app or on Bungie.net. We were able to obtain more lore through Dead Ghosts, Calcified Fragments, and later on through Dormant Siva Clusters. If we wanted, we could reference that lore through what Bungie called Grimoire Cards whenever we wanted, but the issue back then was that most of the story was in the lore itself and not in the game. This in turn made a lot of Guardians angry and frustrated because not everyone wants to sit around and just read while many other Guardians actually preferred to do that. Then there was an extension of the lore in the Books of Sorrow which consists of the Vex Hive War and then again with each DLC that was released after. If you guys are interested in reading about the Books of Sorrow then I will put a link to them in the description below. However, it's very long so be prepared to get a lot of Destiny knowledge of the Hive and Vex that you may or may not have known before. The problem that Destiny 1 had when it came to the lore was kind of solved with Destiny 2. In D2, most of the lore is in the story or in items in numerous locations that we have to investigate and on other planets or at the Traveler. But there lies the issue with this as well. Yes, a lot of the lore is in the story and yes, we can investigate objects on the other worlds but there is no database in Destiny 2 to go back and reference these things that we see or find. If we already had three characters, in order to get any of that information back from the lore, we would have to do the story completely over and nobody wants to do that for the fourth time or we can investigate everything that there is on all the worlds which is exhausting because everything to investigate is very well hidden. On top of that, what about all of the lore after the Destiny 2 original campaign and the lore that was after the Curse of Osiris. There is still a lot of the lore that we don't know. So what can Bungie do to fix this solution? Well the obvious solution is to bring Grimoire cards back so there will be a database for the lore once again but do it in a way that it'll differ from Destiny 1. Yes it'll cost a little money but one idea is that Bungie could pay the Destiny 2 actors or other voice actors like Morgan Freeman to read the Grimoire cards or allow us to have the option to read them for ourselves. We all know Bungie has the money so why not invest it back into the game. With a database like this we could keep track of the lore that we have found, find something that we might have missed and also see what we need to find. Truthfully that is probably the only thing that I could think of in order to bring the lore back in a way that everyone could enjoy. So what do you guys think? Do you know of any other way that Bungie could implement to bring the lore that we all know and love back into Destiny 2? If so, let everyone know your ideas in the comments below. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.